afternoon. Welcome back to Chiron in the southwest of France. Um, just been doing my five minutes a month of weeding the veggie garden. I don't really get many weeds uh, in there. Do you get weeds in your veggie garden? Uh, yeah, don't get many. I think that's probably because I only water the plant. I don't tend to water around the plant too much. Uh, yeah, you know when you're making a video and you think, well, I've got so much that I've done. Little snippets here, little snippets there. No idea how to put a video together. So I thought what I'd do is just show you what I've been doing and then kind of explain. So I'm slowly getting this area here tidied up. Um, I've moved, I've moved that pile of earth that was there that had been dug up from down, down the back of the house and taken out a lot of the um, the old broken tiles that was amongst the soil and all the weeds and you know sticks and stones etc. Uh, got some uh, concrete bits and pieces to get rid of, but yeah, I've got a pile of soil there that I need to do something with. Over here somewhere is where I want to put a woodshed of some description, not quite sure exactly how I'm going to do that. But over here I want to make the garden bed bigger. Uh, yeah, make the garden bed bigger. I've got to, I'm going to move those Wygela um, that are over by the trailer, um, which I moved earlier in the year. They've really not done very well there, it's just too hot. It's just been scorching. Um, so yeah, I want to bring them over so I'm trying to work out some sort of little design for a flower bed and I want to do something for the birds uh, I've got these two trays of water that I uh, look after and I make sure they're nice and clean and the birds love it they're always over here they just absolutely love it and it's a draw for other birds as well um, they come in they're coming from all over I'm sure they do I've got birds in the garden that I've never seen before um, so yeah it's almost like they're telling their friends so down the side or the back of the garden that's looking really good 
I put a uh, paving slab on top of that dodgy chamber that I bought. Uh, that was terrible. And I put a pot on top of it, it looks quite nice. Um, yeah, so still a little bit delicate, so not really up for moving the big heavy pots around. Uh, I'm having to delay my pain for a couple of weeks just to try and get as much work done in the house and then I'll have the pain later. Can you do that? <laughs> so yeah, tidied up loads and loads of tomatoes out of the uh, veggie garden that had been destroyed by that hailstorm. And uh, I do pick them. I do pick the tomatoes and I put them in a, put them in a but I've no idea where to ripen them. They didn't ripen in the house very much. And I put them there, I can't eat them anyway, but yeah, it's good to learn how to do it. And I have eaten some, and I have been quite ill afterwards. But, you know, you do these things, don't you? So I have a little look inside. So I've got that um, corner sorted out now. Basically, I just put two small pieces of pipe in. So I'm quite happy now that, that that's going to that's gonna vent. And um, yeah, there's not going to be a condensation problem. There will be condensation. And uh, so, yeah, last night I got this crazy idea that I'd cut that trim, that a really bad trim up there, and uh, kind of investigate what, what it's all about and see if I can do a better job, which I will do a better job. But yeah, so I did this. Yeah, so I just made a mess really. Um, I'll put it back. <laughs> Not sure what I'm gonna do. There's a gap of about an inch and a half down the um, side of the first timber which isn't a major problem because above that is the ceiling or the floor and on top of that floor is eight inches of rock wall. Um, so yeah, it is insulated, but there's just that gap. I might, I might put some uh, rock wall insulation in that gap. Um, yeah, so what else? I've moved this table, which weighs an absolute ton. I, uh, I wanted to see this wall really and see where I am with it. This has been drying out for the last six months, hasn't it? Well, maybe not six months, four months since I've been, I've done all the drainage and got the workshop dry, the workshop's just behind that wall. And it's pretty dry now. Well, I'd say it's, it's absolutely dry now. So, but the wall's just a bit manky. I'm not sure exactly what to do. You know, it might be okay to put paint on. I don't know, yeah. Uh, in the corner, there is a rug. I've had this rug for two years, no idea what it looks like. I think it's blue. I think it might be light blue, but no idea. I've never opened it. Um, hopefully they delivered what I wanted. So that'd be interesting, won't it? We'll, I'll, I'll do that on camera. <laughs> we'll see how nice it looks. So yeah, that's for in here. So yeah, 11 days till my deadline. And um, yeah, when I said I've got nothing to sit on, yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got chairs, but let's be honest, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to spend my evenings relaxing on a kitchen chair, probably not. So I want a sofa. I think if I can get this room, this room, the living room, to a situation where I can sit down and relax, then I would have think I think I would have achieved my goal. So that means not doing too much in other rooms, even though I've got things that I do want to do. I've obviously been working on that wall. Um, the wood stove. I think it will be unpacked. And there might be some flue pipe going on, but I don't think that's going to be up and running in 10 or 11 days time, almost certainly not. Uh, I've got my paint samples here, which I've been playing with. I'm, I'm sure you can't see uh, the different shades on the camera, but um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can mix uh, one of these two up. I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out this afternoon and make sure I've got enough paint, white paint, and I'm just going to add little bits of black to it. And I think I need to paint that wall first. Get that wall done first, because that is the darkest wall in the room. And then, yeah, make it, you know, get it, get it, get it somewhere comfortable, and then work my way around the room. So yeah, I'm looking for a sofa. If anyone knows anyone, you know, put it down in the comments for me. So I just wanna say a big thank you uh, to everyone who's commented. I do read every single comment and I try and respond if I can say something sensible, but you know, if there's a smiley face next to it or a love heart next to it, I've read your comment and I appreciate all of them. Uh, and to all those who have donated, you are you're amazing. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, what have I been up to anyway? Uh, I need to find somewhere to hang my tea towels, because that's no good. 
and um, hmm. the blue paint samples are in the kitchen. I wonder why that might be. I do like that blue. Um, so yeah, looking at the kitchen sink, I've been faffing, which I showed you yesterday, around the edge, and yeah, I've been playing with the tile situation. Not exactly sure where I'm going to tile up to. I might. I don't know. Now I've now I've done this timber. I could tile all the way up. Uh, tile all right here. Tile under the window, and I'll probably use white tiles there as well next to the sink. It would look quite nice with the grey grout like I used on the other side of the kitchen. So yeah, just trying because this wall is all wonky. So yeah, try, trying to work out how I'm going to get it all nice and flat and then trim it up afterwards. So yeah, just a bit of a faff really, but um, I'll work it out. I'm not gonna spend too much time doing it while I'm concentrating on the living room. So once I've done all the living room work that I can do for the day, then I'll mess about with this in the evening. So I've got the taping and jointing done on this plasterboard on the cupboard. Um, just need to give it another coat. And uh, yeah, once once that's dry, I can give that a coat of paint. That's, that's a job for this week. I want to get this cupboard in primer. And I've got to get that plasterboard up there done this week as well. Well, I haven't got to do it this week, but I'll try and get it done this week. And obviously get that corner finished as well that's that's taped and jointed or the first coat and that needs to be finished as well so yeah bit of busy boy uh that's about it i think uh please like and subscribe and i'll see you soon